Hello everybody and welcome to assignment EE. E. It's our second page, page 314. And we are going to solve some problems in which we have three or more parallel lines being cut by two transversals and those segments are all set, cut up proportionally. Uh, so for number one, here we have three parallel lines, two different transversals, and each of these segments are proportional to the corresponding side. So we can set up the ratio of 3x over 5x and have that equal to 12 over x plus 12. Now, notice 3x over 5x, yeah, we could cross multiply, but um, let's simplify that first. The x's cancel. 3x, 3 over 5 is equal to 12 over x plus 12. All right, 5 times 12 is 60. 3 times x plus 12 is 3x plus 36. I'm going to subtract the 36 from both sides and get 24. And then I'll divide both sides by 3, and we know x is 8. All right, number 2, um, all of these segments are the same length. We have the notation here, and that means that each of these segments on the opposite sides are also the same length. We can set any of these uh, expressions equal to 12 and solve for x. Why don't we do an easy one? How about x plus 3 equal to 12? Subtract 3, x is 9. So that one goes by pretty quick. Okay, down here we kind of have the same situation. Um, the segment here, 2x plus 4, is equivalent to 3x minus 1. And since they are parallel lines, the transversals make a similar case on the other side. This 3y is equal to 2y plus 2. So we can set up equations to solve for x and y respectively. 2x plus 4 equals 3x minus 1. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides and get x. I'm going to add 1 to both sides and get 5. x is 5. Okay, for the y's, just set up 3y equal to 2y plus 2. Subtract 2y from both sides. y equals 2. All right, now on number four, we don't, don't have notation for equivalent segments, but the ratio is still at play. We can set up y over y plus 2. It's the segment over the segment. Set it equal to 5 over 8. 8 times y is 8y. 5 times y plus 2 is 5y plus 10. I'm going to subtract 5y from both sides and get 3y. 3y equals 10, divide by 3, y is 10 thirds, also known as 3 and 1 third, also known as 3.333, repeating. Okay, for number 5, again, proportions, 3 over x, that segment, those segments are proportional to 4 over x plus 4. Cross multiply, 4x equals 3x plus 12, subtract 3x from both sides, x is 12. The last one, 16 over 32. Now, there is a relationship between 16 and 32. It is a relationship of 1 to 2, because 2 of 16s go into 32. So I'm going to use that instead of 16 over 32. 1 over 2 equal 2y over y plus 3. Cross multiply, 2y equals y plus 3. Subtract y from both sides, y equals 3. And that is our final answer. Thank you very much.